everyone. So today I thought I could do a 50, not 50, no, um, 10 facts about me, maybe things you didn't know, to help you guys get to know me a little bit better and also just in celebration of 1 million YouTube subscribers. Woo! I honestly cannot even believe it. That is like so huge to me. I can't believe there's a million of you guys subscribed to watch my videos. I will not be able to get over that. I like literally screamed when I found out and I was like telling Reese and my sisters. I was so excited. Anyway, so thank you guys for that. So yeah, I thought I'd do 10 facts about me, things you didn't know probably. I wrote some down. It actually took me quite a while to come up with this list. The baby's so asleep, which is why I'm getting a chance to film this. Reese isn't here. He's getting his motorbike license. Not sure how I feel about that, but that's a story for a different day. So, number one. Um, number one is I was actually born with two extra fingers. So, it sounds kind of weird. It was... Um, Pretty normal to me. I had one on each hand. They came off the side of my pinky like that. Like there was one there and there was one there. They were just an, like like another pinky with a nail and everything but it had no bones in it. So when I was born I got them chopped off. It actually runs in my family. Emily's probably gonna get so mad for me telling you guys, but she had one extra finger, my other sister had two, my mum had two, I think, and my grandma had one. Um, so yeah, when I had the kids, they were like, it's a 50-50 chance that your babies will have it, and they did it, so. The doctors were like so excited, like watching the ultrasound to see, like check all the fingers and count them, but they all had five fingers. But yeah, I have these two little scars. See that like bump on the side of my finger, that there, um, and I have one on this side. Um, yeah, that was my extra fingers. They're the scars from where they were cut off. And I actually didn't know that I was born with extra fingers until I was, um, I think it was like late primary school. And I literally thought that everyone just had these marks on their hands. And one day my friend was like, what's that? And I was like, well, what do you mean? Like, that's just like part of the human body. And she was like, I don't have them. And I was like, that's so weird. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and then I checked, like no one had them. So then I, cause like my sisters had them as well. Like I noticed, so I didn't think it was that weird. But then yeah, I went home that day and I was like, dad, like what are these marks? And he was like, oh yeah, you were born with extra fingers. And I actually have a photo. I wish I had it right now. I don't know where it is, but I actually have a photo of before they cut it off and there's just six little fingers. And I actually saw a little boy with like the exact same thing and he was standing there like twisting his extra finger. So I'm kind of glad that I got mine cut off. But yeah, that's like a little thing that you guys probably didn't know about me because I don't really advertise it. <laughs> Fun fact. Okay, next. Uh, I had a bit of my childhood growing up on a farm it was in, well, it wasn't really like a proper farm with like all the animals, like a dairy farm or anything like that. Like it, it did have some cows and some other animals and stuff, but it wasn't, they weren't our cows. They were our landlord's cows, I think. Anyway, there was like two cows or something. It, I, it was the best childhood living, like I have the best memories living on that farm. It was actually a big wedding reception that my dad got for us to live in and it, like it was like a wedding hall it was like not big or anything it was like in the middle of nowhere and it didn't actually have any walls so we had to we used like tables turned on their sides for the walls to make like bedrooms so yeah i had a very simple childhood yeah and i went to like a little tiny primary school with like a hundred people in the whole primary school. Pretty much spent every single minute outdoors, running around, playing. It was me and my daughter sisters and my dad. Um, a lot of people think my dad is actually like some famous movie star. I see people like comment that because I said that he was an actor when he was younger. Yeah, his like movie days and stuff like were before my time. Like I wasn't even born yet. Yeah, he uh, he's not like famous or anything. <laughs> Sorry dad, if you're watching, I think you're famous, but you're not really that famous let's be honest so yeah we had a really simple childhood it was great it was honestly it wouldn't change a thing we camped all the time our bath was actually out of the house so that was really bad in winter I remember our dad used to have to force us to go have a bath and it was outside in the freezing cold so it would like go have a bath and just like 
oh, it was not fun. That was probably the only not fun bit, but it's still kind of fun, like memories in a way, those memories. Okay, next. I actually play the saxophone. My sister, I haven't played in like ages, so I probably would not be any good now. My sister used to always call me Lisa Simpson, and I think that's who I was like trying to be. Um, I played for a like, I don't know, I played for quite a long time. My dad is so into music, so he made us do like piano lessons, guitar lessons, all that. And then I just did, I wanted to do saxophone lessons, so I did that and then my saxophone teacher actually died and I loved him so much like I thought he was the greatest thing so I was really upset when he died like he was such a good like he was like a good friend so after that I stopped playing as much like I still kept it up a little bit I did keep taking lessons and stuff like that and I would like occasionally bring it out and just play but then it kind of just drifted and now I don't play ever I definitely want to do all music lessons for the kids my dad actually just bought them a keyboard the other day and it drives me insane because they just like stomp on it and like go crazy but um it's so much fun and they absolutely love it number four i can not have more than four children this is like a sad one for me because i honestly i would love to have like five or six like i have lots of brothers and sisters and it was so much fun growing up all together so I would love that for my kids because I've had I had my emergency c-section with Wolf and then I had a c-section with Saskia I can only have c-sections from now on um, I've talked to a few different doctors and they say the same thing and they say you can only have two more they were like you're gonna find it impossible to find a doctor that will do a fifth c-section apparently it just gets quite dangerous so I wouldn't want to like obviously be in danger or put my baby in danger or anything like that so yeah, two more kids for me, and yes, I do want to have two more. Okay, next, I am like super scared of butterflies, like super scared. I don't like them up close to me, I will freak out. Like, I think they're super pretty from far away, but if they come near me, I will scream and run. Any flying bug, like they're an insect, it's just like, I don't know, I hate bugs. Not a bug girl. Okay, number next, number, number next. Number six, I am obsessed with Dr. Phil. Like I'm actually obsessed with him as a person, him as a person and the TV show. Because number one, I just think he is the smartest person I've ever seen. <laughs> and number two, I just love him. He is honestly like my favorite person. I think he's so smart. He's always so spot on with all his advice I take all his parenting tips honestly like I try to I just think he is just a all-round stand-up guy like I would marry him if I was not in a relationship <laughs> you know, I wouldn't marry him but I love him next when I was younger this is probably around the time I lived on that farm that I was telling you about I used to I was a vegetarian for like quite a while when I was younger I, my favorite animal was a cow and I had like drawings of animals everywhere and I had like I made this painting of a cow that said don't have a cow man and it had like a big cross thing through it it's like don't eat a cow okay next something you may or may not know about me is I'm very shy like when I first meet someone I'm super super shy I think I'm not as bad anymore I remember when I first met Reese's parents I probably said like two words the whole time we were like staying with his parents for like a few days and I like did not speak so I was like so nervous and shy yeah I've just always been super quiet and shy when I meet people but I feel like since doing YouTube and like filming myself talk and stuff I have become a lot less shy okay next I actually did a business degree at university aka college uni whatever yeah I did a business degree majoring in marketing and I did it until I had one month left and then I dropped out. So I did a few years of it and then I dropped out because I just didn't like it. I didn't want to use it for anything. I didn't, like I always knew I wanted to be my own boss. I always knew I wanted to start my own businesses. And it's funny thinking that now because I remember the only class that I liked at uni was entrepreneurship and I learned so much from it and I thought it was just like so 
practical and so spot on and with all my other classes like I got really good grades at uni but I just didn't like it and I was also partying a lot when I was at uni because I just didn't care I'm not saying you guys should not go to uni or not finish uni like it's just with me it wasn't something I wanted or needed to do to get where I wanted to be next one last but not least I am completely addicted to crime shows murder shows prison shows all that kind of stuff like addicted I love them I don't know I find them so interesting I've watched pretty much every single prison show on Netflix and I think lots of other people do too like I know lots of people that do so I don't know if that's like weird or not I'm not like a serial killer I just like watching that stuff it's very fascinating and yeah so that's about it that's all I could come up with hope that sheds a little more insight into me I didn't get a chance to film a vlog this week but I'm gonna film one like as soon as possible because um Saskia's had a fever today and yesterday and I've just been so busy this week I've had so much work going on probably try to within the next couple of days and have another vlog for you guys coming thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate your time and I cannot believe 1 million YouTube subscribers I can't believe it I want to do like a giveaway or something for you guys too soon but I want to think of like a good one so I'll keep you guys posted on that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.